Hi, this is example number one from section 19.124. So here we have a wheel. We are given the values of the wheel. We have a 300 kilograms wheel with a radius of gyration of 0 0.4 meters. And we have the radius of the wheel is 0 0.6. And the wheel is rolling without slipping over this surface. This is a very important condition because we could have that this slipping. And we, when we have that sli uh, this slipping, we could not relate the linear velocity of the center of mass with the angular velocity. But when we have rolling without slipping, we can say that the velocity of O is equal to the angular velocity times the radius. That condition gives me this equation. And then the wheel is subjected to a moment, which is 300 newtons meters. And we are being asked to find the angular velocity after six seconds, if it starts from rest. It's very important to analyze what we are being asked, to know what equation we will be using, since we are being asked to relate moment, forces, and time, the best approach is to use the principle of angular momentum. So you have to remember that the principle of angular momentum comes from integrating the equation of motion. Principle of angular momentum will be the integral of the moment respect to t is equals to the, the angular momentum in a position and specific position minus the angular momentum in the first position. Okay, let's, I, I wrote here A, but let's figure out which is the best point to take moment about. So if we draw our free body diagram of the, of the wheel, right, we have our weight, and then we have two forces in A, N A and F A, Please remember that since we have the condition rolling without sleeping, we cannot relate those two forces. We only know that this force is less than a kinetic coefficient of friction times the normal, way, but we don't know how much less. So those two variables are independent. And we have the moment applied to my wheel, right? The moment. So which one will be the best point to apply my momentum, it will be re respect to point A, because I will eliminate those two variables, and I will also eliminate the moment caused by the uh, weight, because it doesn't have any moment R. So I will have only the moment applied. If I actually want to write the kinetic diagram, the kinetic diagram for velocity, because I'm relating velocities, not acceleration. So it will be mass times the velocity of O and mass moment of inertia times angular velocity. Since system will start from rest, I can say that the angular momentum respect to point A or any point in position A is equals to zero. So we have to calculate only the angular momentum in second position after six seconds have passed. So this is respect to T1 of T2. So let's do the, apply the equation. So we will have the integral from zero to T2, which is six seconds of the moment, 300 delta T, and this is a negative moment because I have placed my coordinate system as x and y, so this is goes towards inside the, the board, so it's a negative value. And that will be equals to h a2. What is the expression for h a2? I, I can write it in several ways. Mass moment of inertia of a angular velocity plus a r g cross m v a, or another equation that I can use, and we demonstrated that in the theory, is the moment respect to the center of gravity, which in this case is O, plus the same distance cross mass velocity. So those are the two equations that I can use. I will use the second one because I, I am giving 
the radius of gyration respect to this point. Actually, I can use the other one too, eh, because this one, this velocity is zero because I'm rolling without slipping. And as you recall, the, the velocity of this point when I'm rolling without slipping is exactly the same as the point in the surface. But I will have to use this, the parallel axis theorem to calculate velocity of it. So let's use that one. But as I said, you can use that one. And I encourage you to do that in the second method. So using that one and see that we, you get the same result. So that will be then equals to man moment, mass moment of inertia, angular velocity, plus r, which is a r in j cross m v in i. So just to 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 see that uh, this is that give me a negative, and this is also negative because I have. So everything is negative in this equation. So that will be. OK, so the final equation, so if I integrate that, will be I will take all those negative signs out because everything is negative. So I can put multiply by negative 1 in each, both sides of the equation. So I will have 300t evaluated in 0 and 6 equals 2. The mass moment of inertia can be uh, calculated from the radius of gyration. So that would be 0 0.4 square times mass. And the mass is 300 kilograms times the velocity minus r, which is actually 0 0.6 times the mass, which is, again, 300 kilograms times the velocity. And I already said that the velocity is related to the rotation because it's rolling without slipping. So it will be 0 0.6 again times omega. So as you see here, we are relating the angular velocity with the time. And of course, we can already evaluate for that time. So that will be equals to 300 times 6 equals to all those values, that will be, uh, well, 300 times 0 0.4 square uh, plus 0 0.6 square uh, angular velocity. Well, I can actually now solve solve for Omega and omega is equals to 11.5 radians per second. And that's the result that I was looking for. OK, so uh, please remember the details in this problem is to use the principal angular momentum any time that we want to relate forces or moments with time and uh, velocities, and the conditionals rolling without slipping, that we can get the relate the, uh, the linear velocity of the of center mass with the angular velocity of the disk.